Greetings and salutations, my great friends. Thank you for making it to the end of another series. We love you, we appreciate you, and I can't say enough. Awakening the sleeping giant, living the life of your dreams, surrounding yourself with great friends, remembering that you're the common denominator. We live in a very noisy world with a culture who really doesn't care about us. Well, they care about selling us something. So to accomplish the life of your dreams, you gotta keep your eyes, you gotta keep your head, and you gotta keep your heart focused in on true principles. You gotta keep your eyes, you gotta keep your head, and you gotta keep your heart focused on true principles. My very first coach that I ever had, he told me the greatest gift you can give to the world, John, is your healthiest self. Keep your head, keep your eyes, keep your heart focused in on true principles. To live the life of your dreams, you're going to have to keep those things on true principles. And what could be more true than you living the life of your dreams, you encouraging other people to live the life of their dreams, and becoming your healthiest self, your best self, your great self, your arete self, your self-actualized self. Every different author wants to put their own spin on it. And like I used to tell people at my gym, you gotta find the term that works for you. There's no script of one size fits all, my friends. There isn't. And here's the lesson today. Besides, that might have already been a pretty good lesson. We live in this world where I find people all the time, they say, well, I'd like to live the life of my dreams, but I can't focus. Or I'd like my kid to live the life of his dreams, but he can't focus. And I just say fooey to it all. It's like a lie, man. You know, we gotta bury those lies. It's BS. Every single human every single day is focused in on something. Someone's focused in on their dreams over here. Someone over here is focused in on punching the clock of their life and going and getting bombed, fall down drunk. Someone over here is focused in on feeding starving kids in Africa. Someone over here is focused in on some fantasy football league that doesn't mean anything. Everyone is focused in on something. What are you focused in on? Because focus becomes like this addiction. And it's true that when I'm coaching people, I do have to get their focus in on the right spaces. So one of the ways that I do this is by using something called the three alarm clock drill. So, Phones are big distraction devices, but you can use it as a tool that works for you. And Kaylee will link this video in the description. But every morning at 5.30, my alarm clock goes off and it's labeled, for me, it's labeled Christ-centered consciousness. I'm aiming big. But it's just a reminder that I'm here to love everyone and it keeps me calibrated to that. And then as I do have a day job of coaching people and speaking and coaching businesses all around the world, I've got my eight o'clock work alarm. And that says world class slash agape love. Because that's a focus device that goes off and it reminds me. Be world class in everything I do and show everyone agape love. And then my end of the day alarm clock goes off at five o'clock and it reminds me of my most important job. And I, it's not really a job. Be a world-class husband and be a world-class dad to Kaylee and Gunner. And I haven't been perfect at it, but I'm thinking I did a pretty good job that I had a 20-year-old daughter that said, hey, I believe I can change the world and I want to do it with you. So those three alarm clocks have helped keep me focused on what matters most. The second drill that I use to help keep people get people focused is something called the priority drill. And I'm gonna just give you the, the watered down version here. And it's just to take out a pad and paper 
and list out the five most important things to you in the whole wide world. That's it. If you think you can have more priorities than that, you have no priorities. And I hope dreams and becoming your greatest self are two of those priorities. And I recommend you leave that priority drill out every day and you look at it and you ask yourself, are my priorities really my priorities? Do the people on the list who are priorities really know that they're priorities in my life? I'd like you to look at it and ask yourself, would I like to have more time for my priorities? My guess is you'd like to have more time for your dreams. My guess is you'd like to have more time for the people that you love. And that leads into the last part of the priority drill. What do you need to subtract out of your life to start living the life of your dreams? I've never had someone tell me, oh, one of my priorities is lots of time on social media, lots of time watching TV, going to the bar and being a fall down drunk. And we see once again why so many people drift and don't live their dreams. And then the last thing to keep the focus to live your dreams is you gotta write a plan each little baby action step. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first small step. Accomplishing your dreams isn't even actually that hard. It's like Kaylee getting our channel monetized and grown. We just, consistency always wins. But once you've built that plan, surround yourself with people that hold you accountable to the plan. And whatever dates that are written down there, all important dates always go in your calendar. And one of the most important dates you will ever make is a weekly date with your dreams. So use the three alarm clock drill. Use the priority drill. Take all of your important dates and put them in the calendar always and remain focused in with your eyes, your head, and your heart on true principles, your dreams, your greatest self. And don't lead a life of quiet desperation. Don't die with the music inside of you. You've got one life to live, so quit living like you're never gonna die. We'll see you on the other side.